Hi everybody, EB here, welcome to today's video. So today's video I want to take you for a quick uh, install through um, the PC Linux OS ISO Hi everybody. that is, is actually available now off my YouTube website. Um, this is a custom PC Linux ISO that Ali has very kindly made for me to distribute on the YouTube which means you guys and girls can download it, install it, and use it for free. And this is pretty much what I'm using, um, but the ISO that I'm using had a couple of customizations which were unique to me. Um, so, without further ado, uh, straight away, if you go to this Ditch Windows Now and Never Look Back video, and then click on the Show More you'll see the shortcut links are here to both files, the ISO file and the MD5 file. Now already, Jedi Mike, bless him, is posted, no, I can't get it to work, puts me back. So what he's saying is if you click on the link, it flicks and does nothing. I get it. Don't do that. Right-click it, left-click copy link address, open a new tab, right-click, left-click paste and go, and it will start and download the ISO for you. That's how it works. Also, if you go to the top of my um, YouTube banner, you'll see there's another shortcut link here, PC Linux OSI. So right-click that, left-click copy link address, same process, open a new tab, right-click, left-click, paste and go, and it will just download the ISO for you. So that's, first of all, how you use the link. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> I don't know how this is going to work out because I don't know if I'm going to run out of room, uh, but we'll see. So let's have a look at this ISO in a virtual box. This is virtual box seven. Um, so first of all, it's going to say, uh, where's your ISO, big boy? So we're going to go to our downloads directory. There's the ISO, mount and retry boot. And let's just open that up a bit. So now we get the choice of live CD or install PC Linux OS. I'm going to go with install PC Linux OS and away it's going to go. Now this should be the latest version as of the date of this video of PC Linux OS, so the core, the kernel, uh, all the utilities. Obviously if you're downloading this uh, two or three months or six months even down the line, don't worry, the system will update. It is a rolling release distro, so you only have to install it once and it just updates for free forever. Select your keyboard. Now, installing it, this is the critical bit for Windows users coming over to this OS. This is how complex it is to install PC Linux OS. Make sure you've backed up any files and data on your Windows petitions that you want to save. Save those away and then you're good to go. Put your USB thumb drive in your computer that you've burnt the ISO to, reboot your computer into that USB thumb drive, and then this installation wizard will begin. All you've literally got to do is follow the instructions. So next, here is the content of your drive 22 gig. Uh, we're gonna use all of the free space and you just want to leave all the default options ticked PC Linux OS will sort everything out for you. You've got to do bugger all. There you go. Yes, please. Click next. And there we go. PC Linux OS is now installing to the computer. Of course, it's in a virtual box because I'm already running PC Linux OS, my own personal version on the computer's SSDs. But this is just to give you guys and girls a bit of an overview of just how easy and simple it is to install PC Linux OS onto your computer. Um, the older the hardware, the better. Um, but as always, I would recommend a minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM and an SSD for the best possible experience. If you've got four gigs, fine, it'll still run, but you're not gonna get the best experience in the world. If you're not using an SSD, if you're using a holder spin HDD, It'll still work fine, but again, you're going to have a significantly reduced quality of life experience. That's nothing to do with the PC Linux OS. That's to do with the limitation of your hardware. So whether you run it on a laptop or a desktop, it really doesn't matter. 
just try and ensure you've got at least eight gigabytes of RAM and an SSD and you should be really, really good to go. Now I'm running this on SATA SSDs. You don't need the latest and greatest NVMe, etc., etc. So now already we've got to the bootloader options. All we have to do is click next. Difficult, isn't it? There you go. Default and left click. Finished. Nothing else to do. How freaking awesome and easy is that? Five minutes. You're done. Makes a Windows install look archaic. Windows, modern Windows 10 and 11 installs are really streamlined, good, quick, but compared to PC Linux OS, they're archaic. Okay, so let's go ahead and click finish to shut it down. So that should be our VirtualBox installation complete. So all we've got to do now is physically shut the box down because it's put us back to the login prompt. Power off the machine. There we go. Okay, let's go back to our virtual box. Let's make sure the ISO is actually been removed. You see it hadn't. So let's go ahead and remove it. So now we've only got... Oh, I'm not sure if I did want to remove it, actually. Yeah, I think we did. So now we've only got the, uh, the hard drive. So let's click start. We'll see if we've... Uh, Guffed it up or whether we're good to go and okay. There we go. And that's your PC Linux installation complete. So now all we need to do is finish the installation off. So it's saying, what is your time zone? Well, it's certainly not US. My time zone is... Uh, we could have GB. We could have GMT, but I'm going to go GP. Uh, GB because I'm in Great Britain. Uh, date and clock, yep, so that's the hardware clock set to local time, which is great. Uh, you can use an NTP server to automatically sync the uh, the time if you want. Uh, you can either select all servers or you can select one specific server. Uh, it's up to you which way you want to do it. I'm going to select United Kingdom, click Next. And it should now go out onto the internet and sync the time, being as we're on a virtual box anyway. And there we go. Now it's asking for you for a system password. Uh, it can be anything you like as long as you can always remember it because you will need this to log in as administrator. Click next. Now it's going to ask you to enter a user account. So my real name is Steve. Login name. Uh, no, we don't want the login name to do that. We're going to select EB. Again, put a password in. Um, best practice would suggest that you use a different super user password to a normal user password, but I'll leave that up to you guys and girls. Okay, and there we are. So now if we click on our user, type our system password in, we should now be in to the first run of our beautiful PC Linux OS. How easy is that, huh? Just saying. Uh, the only other thing that's left to do really is to get the image to fill the screen, etc., 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 which I'll do in subsequent videos. Um, but nevertheless, that's how quick and easy it is to install PC Linux OS as an operating system to your computer. Uh, Application, Dolphin, KDE, configure your computer. Let's click on that. Put our password in. Uh, maybe it's under hardware then. Configure graphics. Uh, hmm. Virtual box video card, that's really not what I wanted. So we'll leave it as what it is. Uh, there we go. Uh, enable graphics cards options. Yeah. Plug and play for the monitor. Okay. Uh, 24 bit color. 
and we want 1920 by 1080 and it's not there available for us that's interesting uh 1920 by 1440 but not 1920 by 1080 uh okay let's do it 16 bits i'm guessing that ain't going to make any difference no i know what the issue is there uh so i'm going to leave it on hmm, i'll leave it on automatic uh, I'm struggling to see all of the window. That's what the problem is there. Uh, because the window is so small. Let me go file and quit. Uh, file and quit. Okay. So what we do is I'll go ahead and shut this down. And I'll fix the display issue ready for the next video and I'll show you what you should do on your first fresh boot of PC Linux OS. Thanks for watching everybody. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked English Bob video.